Good morning to you. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I was on a film the other day. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Mrs. H. Um, anybody new to the channel, welcome. It, we are, well, I am a bit whew, nuts, but <laughs> may as well get out of the way. And you may wonder, why do you start an intro with flowers? Well, the reason is my wife, Mrs. H, has always put flowers for many years now behind the shaves and then many of my videos and it's just something nice hopefully to brighten the start of the video but brighten the, your day in some way um, something nice in the gloomy world we're in um, and it makes it different you know it makes the channel different so that's the reason why so and she's involved you see involved with the channel so what we're we using today something you don't hear of people using a lot of these days People may, that don't film their shaves, may use it regular, And that is the Rockwell Model T. Uh, adjustable twist to open. Now what I like about this here, you look how many twists it takes to open them doors, right? One. Two. Three. And then it starts. So I like that, because what that means is, it's unlike, if it was just a slight turn and then it opens, sometimes those are the ones after use of many years can start to open during the shave. It doesn't happen often, but uh, it just, there you go, and that's what we're using today. Uh, the dial on it is 126, so we'll go, it's very smooth, there's no click with it. We'll take it to number 6, highest, and I'm going to use... That Gillette Minora Platinum again, second use. And then we twist shut. And then this one, two, and just a bit more here. Two and a quarter turns, lovely. No overhang at all. Very safe. And that's what the razor, or the blade, I should say, if you can see it, looks like either side. There you go. I sound like David Attenborough then. Oh, I sound in my head. That's a man I've got. Sir David Attenborough. Um, mind of knowledge. We're going to use tobacco original today in this porcelain bowl. And it is blooming as we speak, so I'll use that as a pre-shave. No, you can't hear it again. Brush of choice, the Aki Freedom. Professional shaving. There. Lovely synthetic. So we'll rinse the face, we'll pre shave, and then we'll create the lather. In that order. Oh, it's lovely. Anyway, never mind that. How are you doing yourself? How's the world? Thank you. How is the world treating you? Or how's life, I should say? Hope you're making the best of everything. So we'll uh, I've said I've said it a few times. Tabac was not one of my favourite scents uh, as a young man. I'm not sure why. I think it's one of these similar to as people used to view Old Spice years ago. You wouldn't use it as a young man. Some did. I loved it. But I don't wear it to go out if you were meeting a few lads for a pint in the early days for a beer. You'd go out with smelling that. You'd have your head kicked. <laughs> But <laughs> it was like a, classed as a, an old man scent, it's a type of thing your dad sent. But um, I'm of the age of my dad, as he was then, I suppose now. But I think you appreciate things more as you get older, and I love this now. Really, really nice classic scent, isn't it? Old scent. I think that's uh, 
you could have a shave with a pre-shave. So that's what soaking the hard puck does, makes it soft. And the water, use it to lather up as a pre-shave. So rinse up with a soap and do Yeah, so uh, we're looking forward to this. I'm very impressed with that blade. So I'm going to soak this, uh, or wet it, synthetic. There you go. Give it about three flicks. Wet, but it's not dripping. I'm going to go in. I use this as a lather bowl, so we're just gathering. It's only small, so we're just going to gather, really, off the, off the puck. And again, once I've finished the shave, I rinse this thoroughly, take this puck out, rinse it, let it dry on its own. Same with the bowl, and then um, it seems to work great. So you don't need a lot, but we will need water to that. Oh, it's like giving your face a good workout. Now that would be a bit too thick and pasty for some, but I'm going to go with the first pass like that because I like it. And we're using a, a number six in the Rockwell Model T, which will heat up. Here we go, so setting six, first pass, Rockwell Model T. Here we go. Gillette. Oh, that feels lovely. Minora Platinum Blade, which I really like. And somebody did say in the comments under my last shave, this is one of their favourite blades. If you're watching, I can see why. So that's the aggressive setting. Again, you can feel the blade exposure. Um, the blade is more exposed. And that's really what aggression is. The more it's exposed, the sort of more aggressive it is, or feels, usually. So beautiful scent, classic scent. Old scent, isn't it? Lovely. Which I appreciate now. Slickness is beautiful. I've had this, this pack a few years. It's lovely. That's relatively clean, isn't it? Not bad. <laughs> Bit more water. Shave of the day, please. A meal of the day, and I'll tell you about that now. Uh, having something my grandmother used to buy a lot of years ago um, I'm going to take it, can we see, no I can't see the numbers I'm going to take it, I do always open it, some say you don't need to open it but I always do it, you never know, four yeah we'll go to four 
this one so it feels really nice um, good grip nicely balanced something told me this was an aggressive razor when I first tried it I don't know why but uh, maybe I'm used to using aggressive Raises, but that doesn't feel that aggressive. You can, as I say, you can feel the blade exposure, but uh, you can hear it. But again, it feels very smooth on the skin. Lovely blade. Let's see if I can reopen that little neck I had. Yeah, I'm having um, breast of lamb, um, something my grandmother used to buy a lot of for hardly any money, you know, 20 pence, 50 pence, whatever. Uh, I think I paid nearly five pounds for this in money. Um, lamb is expensive. And we've got thousands of them here. <laughs> Makes sense. But anyway... Um, And she would um, sometimes cook it as it was, uh, or she'd roll it, take the bone out, the butcher would do that for her, and roll it, and uh, she'd roast it like a little joint, you know, and uh, she used to keep the lamb fat for something. I can't remember what she used to do with that. I know she used to make the gravy with some of it, but uh, anyway. The one I've bought is rolled and it's got sage and onion stuffing rolled in it. So you roast it and when you have a slice of the lamb you have the sage and onion, like a swirl of sage and onion stuffing. In, I'm going into detail again. Inside so you have sort of little lamb steaks if you like. And I have with them, um, I'm having roast potatoes. What have I got? I've got beef dripping and duck fat I think I've got in either one um, I did a video of my Sunday I think that was a lamb dinner if you look on my other channel which is a link below in the description 007 Vauxhall Sunday lunch and you'll see how I did the roast potatoes in, in um, beef dripping that one crispy and fluffy inside uh, roast potatoes lamb um, I've got some broccoli cauliflower and I'll have Lashento's a gravy with mint sauce on the lamb. Someone told me in a video, oh, don't put mint sauce on. I think it was under that cooking video. Don't put mint sauce on the lamb. What? You must be from another world. Very traditional ingredients with lamb in Britain. How dare you, sir? <laughs> no, that was a, that's a lovely lunch. I have got a few beers in the fridge. Ice cold, local beverages, I think. Mrs H bought two of them, so they've been in the fridge a few days, you know, in this ice cold. So we'll take it down now to number two. We'll try it on number two. Don't usually go that low with them, but uh, we'll try it. Blade is performing nicely, as I say, it's on second use. And we're going against the growth here. And I have had a neck here somewhere. Sure, yeah. Yeah, talking about Sir David Attenborough, do, do any of you uh, are fans of his with all his uh, years of programmes? Lovely. Anything to do with nature and the world. And 
there's even a video on YouTube of him. I think he spent 20 minutes off, half an hour or something, walking around the gardens of Buckingham Palace with the, the late Queen. And they came across a sundial in the shade of the trees. And he happened to say, um, oh, there's a sundial nicely placed in the shade of the trees. And she looks at some staff. She, that can't be right, is it? It wasn't shaded when they just put there, surely. <laughs> so she was going to make sure it was moved. Funny moment, huh? Yeah, you can still feel the, the it doesn't feel mild, it's milder, but it doesn't feel mild on that number two, which is nice. Ah, see? That's lovely. So David Attenborough, he's a good age now, isn't he? Nine, is he? Not, is he not far of a hundred or something? I can't remember. Yeah, he's well in his nineties, isn't he? Could watch him for hours. You could make anything interesting, you know, you'd say, and here we have the very rare species of Rockwell Model T. Now this razor can only be found in the southern part of the hemisphere. <laughs> it is just brilliant. Right, stop jibbering, jabbering. Three, two, one, pick up time, baby. Sorry to talk nonsense in these videos but I've said it a thousand times I'll speak as I would as if you were here you know what I mean just whatever comes to mind whatever happens in life whatever we'll keep it on number two just like having a shave with friends yeah that's a new thing shave parties there you go Groups of people meet up, shave different products, share shaving stories, favourite soaps, razors, blades, maybe a beer or two. Just a touch. Wow, that is close, that's lovely. Beautiful, cold water now. Yeah, that's good. That is good. Love these ones, these purple ones. And yellow in them. Purple and yellow. Right. Thayer's cucumber, which it is cucumber. As I said in the last one, Thayer's cucumber. And um, 
thought to myself, I don't think I said anything, I just carried on. But, but uh, it was absolutely lavender. It was <laughs> but that is cucumber. And then, of course, we got the matching aftershave in another porcelain. Lovely. With bake light. Lids. Oh yeah, that's a clap. My dad would have liked this. Mind you, he never used it. As far as I know, unless he did. I don't know. Because sometimes, you know, I did remember this and I meant to say, I won't go on, sorry. But uh, some, like he never used to have all matching things. So he might have Old Spice aftershave and he'd use palm olive to shave. You know, he wouldn't have the matching the only time he would ever have matching shaving soap after shave was, as I say, it was a gift Christmas when it used to come as a set. Because um, Old Spice Shulton used to put packs together. You'd have talc, after shave, soap, and uh, deodorant spray. And what else was there? Washing soap, I'm sure there was all sorts of stuff. But. Um, if only we could get them that way. I'm going to use the Nivea Blue. Not use this for a while. You do shine with these creams, but what you'll find, I've got filming lights and lights up here. So things shine, so you might think, oh, that's a bit shiny. It's only because it's lit up. But it does go down, you know. And, well, you know yourself, don't you? I'm not the only one using cream. Huh? This is one thing my dad wouldn't have never, ever used. Moisturising cream was for... It wasn't for men, so let's say that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. What a guy. Let's some brush out of this. Okay, so that's it. So we've used the Rockwell Model T. Double-edged razor, twist to open, adjustable. We used it on setting six with the Gillette Minora Platinum Blade, second use. Number six, it's most aggressive for the first pass. Number four, across the growth. Number two, against the growth and for pickup times. And then the, obviously tobacco. Lovely. Yaki Freedom uh, Synthetic, 22 millimeter, I believe. Um, what else we use? Water to rinse, cucumber witch hazel, matching aftershave and the Nivea Blue. Um, Nivea cream, Nivea men cream, and that's it. So I'll leave you to it. Have a great Sunday, rest of the weekend, and start to next week. If you're shaving, enjoy them. If you're not, look forward to them. Stay safe, stay happy, and <laughs> going. And all the best. See you on Wednesday. Bye bye.